Spotify Karting has been discontinued for some time now. It is a device that could help to retrofit on your old car and listen to Spotify. Sounds amazing, right? But what happens? Why does it fail? I have a theory. Welcome to Spotify Karting. Although it fails, it is a great device. It has a simple and intuitive user interface. The controls are not confusing at all, the text and icons are all oversized so users could see in a glance and do some actions like play, pause, next, previous easily. There's a giant knob as well that actually extends to some part of the screen. It also equipped with four microphones for more accurate voice control, doing the noisy roads, and what's more important, it also has an ambient light hidden behind this giant knob. On the back of the device, they're so clean and only has a giant magnet on the Spotify logo there and also it connects via USB-C here. Attaching it to retrofit your car is easy, they have three options for you to use. The CD mount, which you can insert the piece of plastic to the CD hole. And also the dashboard mount, which come with a 3M strip so you can attach it to your dashboard or windshield. And then there is a vent mount that is adjustable so it can fit to different sizes of air outlets. There's also a strong magnet that you need to attach to the mount of your choice to hold the screen steady. And since the screen itself is very lightweight, I can guarantee that it won't fall easily. It also comes with a quick release button on the magnet itself, in case you want to switch the mount. Controlling the device is very easy. There are four preset buttons alongside the mic hole to save your favorite playlist. Below the knob there is a back button and you can also click the knob if you want to play or pause the music. Scrolling the knob will help to volume up or volume down the music. You can also swipe left or right for next or previous song and if your hands are really occupied you can also use the voice controls with the comments Hey Spotify as the keyword. I found that the speed of the comment depends on your phone's connections to the internet as well so you might want to hold it there. Here's the list of Hey Spotify commands that you can use. You can also pause the video if you want to see more on this. The problem actually arises on the usability for daily driving and using the device. So basically Spotify Karting is just an extension of your phone that is always on to control Spotify music. It needs to connect to your phone via Bluetooth and you need Spotify Premium accounts for it. To make things worse, your phone needs to be connected to your car audio via Bluetooth or aux cable, which most of older cars will only have aux jack, while newer phones these days doesn't have this 3.5mm jack anymore, except if you want to deal with some dongles. There is some redundancy as well, Spotify also has car mode in its own app. With this carding price originally for $89.99, who'll spend this much to go in the dongle mess? Well, before this is dying, they price it for around 25 bucks, which makes more sense than the original price since you still need to add Spotify Premium subscriptions into account for this to work. However, there's a second use case to let owners control Spotify on desktop. Currently, this is my only use case of using Spotify car thing. The problem is, you will still need your phone to connect to Spotify car thing and then using the desktop app and make sure you change to speaker instead of your phone on your desktop app. Fun fact, you can also use the magnet to hold your Apple MagSafe wallet if you want to, but the magnet is not strong enough to hold my iPhone 13 Pro. So you could use this as alternative use case if you want to. Overall, Spotify car thing are still great device, it just come not at the right time. And if they started out with $25 as the original price, it might be even better in my opinion. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.